Hello everybody, welcome back. I am Ian Chikino and I have once again with me Far. We're gonna go and how's it going? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? I don't even know. Nine or blue? Nine or blue? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you said we weren't gonna see four gates last game and we did. You oh, don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> maybe I knew it was coming. You never know. I didn't know that was coming. I didn't see that was coming. That guy would have done me. Yeah, that was completely out of the blue. So like, I feel like they both like metagamed each other like three different times and one just like one up the other. Yeah, eventually that that no, I meta game you more times. Yeah, you need to quit that. I'm I'm I don't like the meta game. <laughs> yeah. Can we just play, please? Just, <laughs> Mind games are giving me headaches. Yeah, both players just stop making units. They just sit there. Like you can <laughs> do it first. Like they just sit there. Like not stop mining everything. All right, take two bases, mine up everything, and then you can start making production. So who's gonna make a, a first base or first expansion? This game probably gonna be the Zerg player. We do have a. That's pretty much a safe bet, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we've got our top left player, our blue Protoss up here, JYP from TSL, the SCV Life, which is an interesting clan name considering they're not all Terran players, but <laughs> the SCV Life, JYP, top left blue player, and his opponent down on their bottom right in the winner of last game, Nex, or Zinex, Naya. He's a Zerg player, red Zerg player. And we're on the map Crevasse, which is a GSL map. Game. Well, I don't wonder. I'm, I'm assuming this game will be longer than the first. Yeah, just uh, considering the map distance. Yeah. Like, it'll take seven minutes just to cross the map. <laughs> get, get your slowlings over there. Ugh. Yeah, that definitely isn't going to happen this game. Counterattack, five minutes later. Oh, he's going to go for a spawning pool. So it looks like we're going to see the exact same build that Anaya this game. Playing it safe. Look, I love seeing this. Protoss put, a, sorry, put his expo up. Wow, the Protoss player gets his expo first going. Oh, what? That was a 15 Nexus. Completely wrong again. That Protoss player gets his base up first. These guys keep this to is stop. What, what is Naya doing? I'm gonna like play ladder and I'm be like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do anymore. Everybody's doing all this weird stuff. And Naya, why, I just don't understand why he wouldn't go for a hatch first on this map. I'd probably put it up out front too. Pretty safe. It's like the hidden base, the hidden expansion here is like, why not? Yeah. We're probably gonna see our Protoss player take his first gas at the uh, rich Ves Vespian Geyser as opposed to the two at his main, which are not rich. They're just normal. Expanding on this map always kind of reminded me of uh, expanding on Delta Quadrant. Yep. They gave you that. Except there's that no safe rocks. Expo, and then there's one out front that you could take. Even the one out front on this map seems pretty safe, though. Not quite as safe as Delta Quadrants. Yeah, it's even but, uh, easier to take, too, because there's no rockets, rocks at your uh, in base natural, so you can just, yeah. you know, chill out. So it looks like this cannon is going to get up just in time. These Zerklings aren't going to be able to do anything. So we're going to see Naya do a safe opening. Not risky. Playing a really safe standard, you know. Probe saw those lings moving out on the tower. Yep. He's got a solid opening. So our greedy Protoss is going to take the early economic lead going with this fast Nexus. And he's going to come in here and scout it out. He's going to easily see uh, what he's going to see. One dude on gas getting that speedling opening. He's got a four worker, five worker advantage already. He's got those Chrono Boosts going. So he's going to have a pretty sizable lead for the time being. Actually, it was up to six there for a second, wasn't it? Or was it? Just five? Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, he lost yeah, the probe. That was scouting. Yeah, he's going to be able to drone real quick. Yeah, he's going to be able to catch back up. He's got six coming out right now. So just a little bit of a lead for the Protoss player. He's got two Queens yeah. coming out. This will easily put him back in the lead. So the Zerg player is going to yeah. be able to drone up. We'll see what type of a transition we're going to see from our Protoss player. And he's got a lot of gas geysers. He's already got three up. He has a gas geyser at his natural, but he hasn't started putting any probes on it. I think that's a mistake. There he goes. Both, I think they're both playing pretty conservatively and shooting for the long game. I don't, I don't imagine anybody pulling anything like balls to the wall all in-ish out. Yeah, we're not going to see any DTs this early as we did last game. And there's a quick third for Naya throwing it down at his outside expansion. Wow, six-minute third. Yeah, this is definitely turning into quite the macro game and a Stargate. Uh, as a Zerg, that would be an annoying thing to face. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to do with that Stargate. Usually you get a Stargate up in Z or TV, sorry, uh, PVZ just to deny that third, but it seems like unless you're going to proxy it. The yeah, I don't see it denying it, especially. Now he's making two. What? Huh. JYP <laughs> is weird. Can I just get that out there? They're metagaming us, man. Yeah, they're like, these casters have no clue what's going on right now. <laughs> so we'll probably see him just make a lot of phoenixes and void rays. With that many, he might actually be able to do it. 
I don't you know. know. He can't really mass arrogance or. If he makes well, like four least. phoenixes and makes like two void rays or two void rays and then follows it up with two phoenixes, two void rays and two phoenixes can deal yeah, a I lot of damage. Yeah, I guess Sir's got to scout it right, be able to counter it, but he's plenty capable of it. He's just gonna have to. He's gonna have creep down there by the time being. He's got a creep tumor going to the third, so that's gonna be close enough. Oh, Hydra Lisk Den. Hydra Den. Oh my God, Naya. Does he? Did he see it? I don't think he saw it. Um, let me, yeah, um, I don't think so. None of those overlords. And, he doesn't have vision of it, so. It's just a blind, blind lucky counter or intuition. Or he's just played this guy before. He's aware of his style, but Probably he's gonna intuition. see it now. There's a void ray going straight for that overlord, so he's gonna be happy as soon as he sees that void ray. He's gonna be like, "Cool, I uh, already got that under control." Yeah. We got plus one on the way. Man, if he transitions into carriers, I'm just gonna love JYP. Game could be carry your favorite favorite unit in the game. Okay, no, that's warp prison. Did you say the warp prison is your favorite unit in the game? Yeah, warp prison warp is prison my. Warp prison has the funniest portrait in the game. I don't know about being the coolest unit in the game. It is my favorite unit in the game. It's pretty awesome. Let's check. I remember the old... when you pointed that out to me. Uh, warp prison portrait. Yeah, it's pretty freaky. What is that? And I wasn't on drugs when I was watching it. It's just that freaky. <laughs> so we got a harvester count at 20 or 63 versus 47. So Reserve taking a commanding lead up by 20. And it looks like our Protoss player is just going to go off two base for the time being. He's working on taking out those rocks with some zealots and one sentry. And here we have a big swarm of uh, phoenixes or a fleet of phoenixes. Four phoenixes falling up that void right there. And uh, oh wow, he's going to pick up all those hydralisks. Naya may not be uh, anticipating that many phoenixes. Ew. And oh, wow, loses a phoenix. I guess he didn't want to go for it. There's, I, he could have just picked up all. He those. could have just picked them all up and avoided them. Yeah, but there are a lot more spawning right now. I don't know if he would have killed them in time. Close. Yeah, just playing safe. Playing safe. Yeah, I like, one, but he did lose a phoenix. I like seeing safe play from players. Looks like he's gonna go harass the bottom left over here. But nope, there are hydro already there. That void is gonna go down. Boom, goes yep. the dynamite. <laughs> Boom goes the. What video was that from? I forgot. I that. don't know. I don't know. One of the funniest videos like ever seen in my life. So a lot more drones coming out, and Naya has a really good response to this air opening. He's just pumping drones and has enough uh, hydralisks just to safe, deal with this. Just safe, safe, safe. You can crack if you wanted to right now. Yep. He's going to be able to pick off an overlord. No, he barely misses it. Nope, he sees it. He's after it. That overlord's like, shoot. There he goes, yeah. Throwing? <laughs> Taking him out. Pop. I love seeing overlords explode. It's like a pinata full of blood and guts. <laughs> That'd be awesome to put in a horror movie. You know, just like a kids are like, okay, I was about to say, yeah, it's like my birthday it. party. And they're like hitting it and like guts fall out of it. And the what parents. This is a candy. <laughs> yeah. They'd probably be too, too naive to even realize what it was though. Ew. The parents are like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, probably be freaking out more than the kids would. That'd be pretty crazy. Let's see here. Zerg is, looks like he stopped droning. I wonder if he's going to put a fourth up soon. He's going to get up to about 80 harvesters. He's got four more coming out. He's making a lot of roaches. Get some roach upgrades, some upgrades for that missile attack and that roach speed and some colossus coming yep, out. There it goes. Third base is up for a zerg player. Or sorry, our fourth base is up for a zerg player. Getting up over here. And oh my god, miss control. Oh. <laughs> See you later, phoenixes. Ouch, that was painful to watch. That was painful. That's the worst feeling in the world. Like when you scream back to him and you're like, oh, that just happened. Yeah. <laughs> so the third is up for a Protoss player. He's got a lot of uh, cannons up. Has some sentries. Like Macroing it up. Colossus, here. Colossus coming out, making some more gateways. One gateway powering eight gateways. Or sorry, one pylon powering eight gateways, right? Is that eight? What do you got, Narcosis pylon you're focused on right now? Yeah, look at that. You see that? Oh my gosh, that is. <laughs> that is one baller pylon. <laughs> We cannot hold. Circuit breaker's gonna break. Yeah, oh wow, we're gonna have a Hydra Roach push? What? Huh. He's gonna get the Col Colossus out in time. I don't think this is gonna be very effective. We got four cannons up too. I don't see that breaking him. Yeah, just with some decent Colossus micro off creep Hydra. Not the best unit. And it looks like that Overseer's gonna get taken out by those Phoenixes. This guy's finally doing something effective, pooping out some changelings. Yeah, not the best unit. <laughs> Changelings, the worst unit in the game. <laughs> they don't counter anything. Horrible unit. Oh my god, he lost more phoenixes! <laughs> this is painful. 
He's still in it. Supply, 144 to 197. He's got a pretty Zerk good tech. He doesn't have any upgrades. He's got his first. What do you mean? He's got, he's got a damage upgrade. And he's starting a. Second. The plus two. He's got seven corruptors coming out, so he's going to have a nice AA for these Colossus. What is JYP going to do to get back in this? I don't. I mean, let's check the harvest account. 60, or 76 for 71, so he, he has stopped droning. He's just making a big, super strong army. Hmm. He's going to push out. Is he going to go for it? A lot of Zerklings. Nice Using army composition. Meat shields. Probably going to wait for that plus two to finish before he attacks. But our Protoss player is going to uh, try and just to get an attack before then. Here he goes. Force field's going to go down. He's going to back up. Getting a couple of free roach kills there. And oh I my. I think he could have engaged there. He's that, got enough. That's, he's backing up now. Those overlords. I guess he's, he's trying to fake him out with the Bane about Banes. But there's nothing in there. And oh, here come all the corruptors. They're going to focus our kill on Colossus so fast. Colossus dropping. Hydra dealing a lot of damage wherever they can hit. Corruptors dealing a lot of damage. That plus two is not yet finished. Roaches incoming. Observer shows up to the fight. And a lot of green goo. Those uh, corruptors are puking all over everything. And it looks like. Looks like JWP is going to take this fight. Oh, he had enough stalkers. No. Oh. Yeah. I like that move with the overlords, but after he engaged with the the corruptors, I think he probably should have run them back because he ended up losing all of them, didn't he? Or most of them. You know, they're at the bottom left. Zerk player. When you engage a Protoss like that, and you got all these oh, those overlords there, the Protoss has got to be reluctant in how he engages in a fight. He doesn't know if there's Banelings or not. Yeah, Protoss player throwing up his fourth base with a couple cannons. What is he killing? Rocks. Rocks are going down. Fifth base going for the Zerg player in the top middle part of the map. Looks like that's going to get scouted out. Nope, it's not going to get scouted out by that. Just a Phoenix on patrol. Wants to make sure there's no drops going to go in his base. I like that play. Well, I was assuming he was reluctant he's going to run into more Hydras. Because that's all he's done all game. <laughs> that's why he's doing in the well, he, he's over seen the his crevasse. Fall to Hydras. Yeah, he, he does hide. better. Okay, wow, he's got some Immortals. I like to transition into Immortals away from the Corruptor play. That's going to be really smooth. And he's just kind of hanging out here, putting a little bit of pressure. Blink is just about finished. He's probably going to wait for Blink to finish and then go in for an attack. Two Immortals hmm. also coming on the way. No proxy pylon for reinforcements yet, so... That's interesting. I wonder if we're going to see any Broodlords this game. Hope so. Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. He's still sitting in the lair, so we'll see. Still at about 200 supplies, so he's been maxed out for a while. He's liking this Roach Hydra play. How many upgrades? I we got two upgrades. Just He should probably get up to that uh, I do hive. not like the lack of upgrades by both players, it feels like. Like, the Protoss is only starting level 2 damage right now. Yeah, and considering how much money they have, they could easily both afford more upgrades. So. Yeah. I, well, I guess the Zerg I can understand, because it feels like they're, they're gas more than any other bottlenecks their production. Oh, we got some Overlord's going to drop some Banes on top of all this. Hydra dealing a lot of damage. Oh, Banes dropping all over the place. Immortals still alive. Four of them still alive there. Hydra are kind of getting... Actually, looks like he's going to push him back. Banelings still being dropped out. Stalker's blinking away. Immortals slowly staggering back. He's going to fall back to these cannons. And are we going to see Naya continue the push here? He's going to go for it. He just has Hydra, though. And it looks like he's all out of Banelings blinking on top of him. Those Hydra are all left alone. It looks like they're going to get cleaned up here. Is he going to get that last Immortal? Nope, he's not even going to hmm. finish off that one Immortal. He's going to be able to hold it off. It looks like it's a pretty evenish trade. I don't see anybody like being significantly ahead after that. Yeah. I think it did favor the Protoss player, though, just uh, just a little bit. Zerg's 30 food ahead, 30 supply ahead. Yeah, but he, he was macroing. I mean, it's really easy to, you know, make 30 supply instantly mm -hmm. for, uh, for Especially Zerg. Especially when you're, I don't know, does he have roaches? Yeah, ro roaches are pretty supply-heavy unit considering their cost. And actually scouting at that top, so he's going to go take out that fifth from the Zerg player. Zergling's coming out, and is he going to get a flank here? He's going to have to watch out for these uh, stalkers. They do have blink, but he's going to be able to just blink away up here to the top. I don't know where he's going. That's the wrong direction. His base is the other way. Oh, We're going to yeah. see some fancy play here from this Protoss player, JYP. I don't know where these stalkers are going. Well, he's got the ledge, and then he can jump down, I guess. That's probably what we'll see. Know, these looks Hydra, like that's kind of like a wrong move. He can trap him in here with the Hydra if he wants to. Mm -hmm. Oh, is he going to recognize? Oh, there he goes. He's going to get it, but no, he can blink. Can he blink up to the top there? Does he have vision? Oh, those ah, <laughs> he doesn't have any vision. And those He's stalkers. Go. One way trip. Is one going to make it? Is he going to make it? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Does not make it. But that whole time, he gave him plenty of time to make a whole new base down here in the bottom left, sacrificing a bunch of stalkers, warping in some more. Don't really think it was worth it to kill that one base. Hmm. Oh, that was like 15 stalkers. Not also really another, worth it. Also another safe assumption. Yeah. 
Colossus getting focused down, taken up by the Corruptors. Bailing's just running in there, taking out Colossus. He's it's never there. been able to control Colossus very well. I mean, those just got sniped. So many Hydra, and it looks like JYP is going to lose this. This base is going to go down, and it is out. Stalkers, a lot of Stalkers now being reinforced. Has a blink on those guys still, and a plus two attack upgrade on those Stalkers. Plus two on those Hydra's pushing here wants to take out those Photon Cannons. Photon Cannons, not that great against that many Hydra. <laughs> this Protoss' control has felt uh, lackluster in regards to what he needed to do. But there's a pretty big army there from the Protoss player. He's got the Colossus in the back. It looks like that one should be able to live. He only has three Corruptors yep. left. That's after the Corruptors die. Yep, focus firing down, killing the Corruptors off. And it looks like our Protoss player is going to clean this up. But at the same time, we have a huge attack coming here down the bottom. The huge interception of all these probes. Oh my god, so many probes just being taken out right there. But look at all the cannons. That's a lot of cannons. He's got two pylons, though. Just smack the pylons. No pylon, please. Or just run past it. Go to the main. Yeah. Or not the main, the, the nexus. He's got enough roaches to kill everything. That one stalker, he wants to live. He's going to get taken out. Reinforcement stalkers are showing up. And the Zerg player is well ahead in supply. 153 versus 97. Oh my gosh. These players need to upgrade for me. They're just too busy making units and throwing them into each other here. At least get some armor Rem upgrades on the Zerg player. Remembering that type of stuff when games start getting scrappy. So hard to criticize. Mind out of his main. Both players mind out. Yep, looks like it. Looks like they're just going to end up taking both their respective halves of the map. Yep, some Zergling counterattack. Nope, they're just going to get fried by that Colossus. Easy so peasy. I don't think so. And the queen getting caught out in the open. She was on her way to a shoe sale. Dead. She's gone. A lot of roaches coming here, though. Roaches, Hydra, three Corruptor. Looks like he's going to fall back. Both players. Might be seeing some uh, drops here from Nye in the main. I mean, he's got all that. He's got the Overlord upgrades. He's got the, you know, the carrying upgrades. So he can just put some units in there and start start harassing, They're you know. still sitting in lair, too. I'm surprised. Yeah. Would have assumed he would have started... Working towards broods or he's back up. I know he just wants to win with like Zergling Roach Hydra and like a few Corruptor. Like he's been at 200 as much as possible. Since I feel like he would have done like one or the other, the attacked or like started like pure upgrades. Well, he kind of is just sticking with this army composition, which yeah. he wants to try and break the Protoss player. Some nice force fields gonna go down Blinky to the back. It looks like that Corruptor is gonna take out the Colossus. There he goes. You got Roach's bottom left taking out that Protoss. Protoss Expo. Bailings is coming in from behind, just taking out stalkers. What? <laughs> and it looks like our Zerg player is going to fight that off yet once again. Maybe not. Looks like his stalker is going to go back for it. Down here at the bottom left, like you said. Nexus being taken out. Simulator. I like his Zerg's multitasking. He's keeping his Protoss in his toes. Yeah, a lot of counterattacks. A lot of Corruptors not be able to do anything. That's a lot of wasted supply. And he needs to watch out. Those stalkers can clean up those Corruptors pretty fast. And Overlord just kind of floating around. Looks like we're going to have pressure here on this 5th base of Naya. Going to take out that Queen. And going to take out that Hatchery very quickly. There it goes. It's going to get popped. Yup. Pop. There it goes. Broodling's coming out. Pissed. Their home just gets destroyed. I still had a mortgage, goddammit. <laughs> Force fielding some Zerglings. <laughs> Really, dude, this 50 yeah, stalkers, this 50 stalkers need to force field Couldn't Zerglings. Just, like, yeah. It's gotta, gotta bring the energy. Once again, another counterattack from Naya over here at the next expansion of oh, no, JYP. The probes. And that's gonna so get cleaned up. Probes. Both players attacking different sides of the map. Drones, Roaches, Hydra are gonna try and kill those stalkers. Look at all those Corruptors. Look at all that vomit on them. They're all green. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. That's a lot of spam clicking right there. There's a good force field. Hold C, hold shift, and just mass click. Why is, is he pulling drones? Do you see this? He's pulling drones to kill these stalkers with the Hydra. Drones tanking for Hydra. He might be uh, freeing up. No, he doesn't. He's not freeing up supplies. He's got 154. Yeah. He's just wanting to go for it. <laughs> I think both of them are kind of. Zerg doesn't have any income really anymore. He's got. He's got so many corruptors. Base, and uh there's a lot of stalkers still there's a lot of stalkers yeah, wow both the harvester accounts are in the 30s they're both just kind of nuking each other some nice blink stalker micro drones flanking from behind with some hydra support <laughs> what is this no, you didn't just say that <laughs> i just said that <laughs> unfortunately 
There's no Game production changing. at all. It looks like there's some corruptors, but those guys aren't doing anything anymore. Overlord's <laughs> creeping just because they don't have anything else to do. And it looks like a queen showing up a little late. And the stalkers do hold it off with some nice the blink micro. Is that drone, uh, drone flank was actually somewhat effective. Well, he he just got so much supply and corruptors. It's kind of like a. There we got the GG. Zerg Zaya. is sitting at zero income, mineral wise. Oh, man. There he goes. But, yeah, I think just the supply. Look at that. Ten corruptors he had made here. And, uh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. He could have turned those into broods. He had 11. He's sitting at 1150 gas. Yeah, that's 20. That's 20. Uh, he could have made Muta. He could have made anything that would have been more effective than the corruptors. Upgrades. I think, I think just the fact that the Protoss player didn't overmake Colossus, mm -hmm. the Zerg he player was always worried about making too many Corruptors, so he made like 10, thinking he was going to have to kill more. See, and that's kind of why I assumed he would have gone on towards Broodlord tech, because that justifies making the Corruptors regardless, because you can turn them into Broods. Yeah, he was just trying to uh, win the game with just mass swarm, you know? He wasn't really yeah. worried about Supreme tech, just going to try and end it faster, and just keep swamping, keep swamping, keep swamping. So, uh, unfortunately... It didn't work out for him. Didn't work out for him. His worked out game one. Now it's even. Now it is even. We got one to one. Moving on into the third game. Who do you think is going to win this third game? Hmm. It's really kind of hard to say. We have both these uh, players. Who knows what they're going to do? Yeah, I couldn't tell you. I, I think I've liked uh, the Zerg's control in general more than I have the Protosses, so... I had to put money on that bit. Put money yeah, I, I definitely think the Zerg player has better control, but I, I just like uh, the Protoss build better. He, he's like greedy, <laughs> right? At the beginning, take yeah. the Nexus first, so he gets a nice advantage versus like the Speedling opening. Yep. So, I didn't see that. So uh, it'll be a matter. It's pretty even series. Even regard, Both players pretty even, so yeah. So, anybody. Yeah, moving on to game number three. Everybody, check that out. <laughs> 